Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel. Thank you so much for joining me today. I wish it was on better terms or better, it, it was better circumstances, but um, I definitely wanted to share this with you guys today because I was so devastated with what happened with me today. Obviously from the thumbnail and the title of the video, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. My plant cabinet, which is actually a double light curio, wooden curio that I repurposed as a greenhouse cabinet had a huge spill today. I have been <laughs> cleaning up after that huge fiasco almost all day today. I mean, of course I had to take care of other things, but in between I have been cleaning up the mess and um, repotting plants, picking up leaves. <laughs> oh God. I really just wanted to share this with you guys today because tomorrow I probably will just need to just put this behind me, but I did not want to um, not share this with you. And I'm sorry, guys, I just got out of the shower. I'm Next time I'll have makeup on, you won't have to look at this, sorry. <laughs> but um, I had a huge spill. My son called me this morning. I was dropping my husband off and it was early this morning and he called me and he told me that my plant shell fell. And he said it fell out, like it didn't fall inside the cabinet. Everything spilled out. And I had a lot of my stemware holding up my um, my plants. And so there was a big crash, broken glass everywhere. And it was, it was a nightmare, okay? And I had a talk with the cabinet. I told that cabinet, I trusted you. I, trust, I trusted you with some of my favorite plants. And the cabinet proceeded to tell me, don't blame this on me, Rachel. <laughs> You put too many plants in here in glass jars, trying to make them look cute, and it was too heavy. You should have known that. And I should have. I should have known that. But the pegs that were holding up the shelf is enough for small knickknacks, but it's definitely not enough for the weight that was in there. I mean, if you just saw my recent video of my um, living room tour, you see that there were a lot of plants in there. But the plants were in there, but they were, um, I think it's the vessels along with the plants and the substrate, all of that. And then we just had water day. So all of that made it very, very heavy. And so I had a crash. The crash destroyed a lot of plants. I'm not gonna draw it out. I didn't cry. <laughs> Did I want to? For about 30 seconds, I wanted to cry. But then I realized my children were fine. My fur babies were fine. My plants will grow back. And so I just started cleaning. And I will tell you something good that came from this. Oh my goodness. My kids were so sad about it. They were so sad. My husband was sad. They were just sad that my plant shelf fell because they know how much I love all the plants in that cabinet. And so they were sad about it. And it made me feel good that they just didn't kind of like brush it off. Like, oh, they're just plants. They didn't feel that way. Like they looked like, oh, mom. And it was, that made me feel good that they knew it was special to me and that it made them feel some kind of way because it was special to me. My little editor told me that. He says, you know, Mom, I felt badly about that. You've been collecting those plants for so long. So he said that he just felt badly about the fact that, you know, all of my work was just like on the floor. But um, by the time I got home, they had cleaned up as much of it as they could without, you know, getting hurt because I didn't want them to get hurt. And so they um, they cleaned up a lot of the big chunks of glass and everything. And they just like, you know, but they I told them not to move the shelf itself because the shelf didn't break. It was the little stemware that I had in the cabinet that broke when I hit the floor, but the shelf itself did not break because the shelf itself is very, very heavy. And so that's why I'm every, even thinking about the pegs that they were on, it's like just for the shelf, this was too small. So we are gonna go to Lowe's and we are going to replace those pegs and we are going to shore it up afterward anyway. So that's all said and done. I mean, it's cleaned up. I'll show you what it looked like, of course, um, just the whole crash and uh, I have to say goodbye to these leaves. Normally I keep leaves that I lose on my plants just in the vase or something like this. I will not be keeping these because this is such a sad situation that I, I'm really not going to keep these. I don't know that I want to remember this. <laughs> okay, we're going to start off with what's on top. And this is one of my Monstera Albo leaves. Yes. And this is one of my, this is a leaf that was going. You can see that that one was going. But this right here is from an alocasia. What is the name of this? Uh, what are you called? It's That's not it, but um, 
pink dragon. That's what it is, the pink dragon. It has dog hair on it. So this is the Alocasia pink dragon, but that leaf, as you can see, was going. Thai Constellation. Remember the leaf that had the the blue tape on it? My Thai Constellation leaf. This is another leaf from my pink dragon, but this one was on its way out as well. This was my last Zabrina leaf, but guess what? I didn't realize that this plant had root rot. <laughs> and so with this crash, I was able to catch that and cut off the portion of the, of the bulb or the corm that was broken. Okay, this is the emerging leaf from one of my silver dragons. This one I'm going to propagate. This is from my Peperomia and I am going to propagate this one because you only need one leaf to propagate for Peperomia. This is Thai Constellation. This is another Peperomia leaf. I'm going to propagate that one. This is my Alocasia Bisma Platinum. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then these two right here, these are the ones that hurt a lot. They really did. They were. This is from my Gigas that Carol sent me the entire, one of the plants, nothing happened to it. The other one lost two of the lower leaves. Well, the lower leaf and the one leaf that came that opened up when it first got here, but when it opened up, it had a little um, issue with it. So the next leaf, the newest leaf stayed on, and this is one of the older, not the old desk, but one of the older leaves. And this one, and I, that hurt me because I don't have an expensive plant collection as much as when someone shares something with me, I take care of it. And that's why it was in that cabinet. I was taking really good care of it. And so when I, when I saw these leaves, I don't know, this is the one that almost made me cry. Yeah, this one almost made me cry because I know that I'm taking good care of the plants, but um, value doesn't just come with a price tag. <laughs> when someone shares something with you, it just makes you feel so good that they would entrust you with something that you want to do your best with it. And so with this one right here, my Tycon, those are the only two that were shared with me that I that hurt like this one right here Carol sent this plant to me and it's like Carol doesn't know me personally that hurt when I saw these two leaves there the other plant the rest of the plant is fine it's already potted up again but that that really hurt when that happened when I saw that and then my Tycon my daughter was the one who insisted that I buy that I was like you know I don't buy plants over $25 and it was over $25 and so but she was just like mom I'm gonna go half with you then so it wasn't the original Tycon price, but it was still more expensive than most of the things in my collection. And so um, it hurt when Calypso got hit. And when I tell you she got hit, I think she took the most damage of all the plants in there because she was so big. She had just put on a new leaf and that came off. It's, yeah. Anyway, the Tycon went and... She's still fine. She's still going to grow back. I know that she will, but it just hurts because those were the plants that someone wanted me to have. And that makes it even more special. You can't put a price tag on that. And so I don't buy expensive plants for a reason because I would never want to have something like this happen. And for me to feel like, okay, no more plants because, you know, you, you didn't handle it. Right? <laughs> but anyway, that's, yeah. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, they'll grow back. And then the last ones, these are the two leaves that they heard as well. This is from my Doriaki Anthurium. Uh, there is already an emergent coming out, but this was the latest leaf that took a month and a half to open up to this size. And this was a leaf right before it. So both of these came off and my son wants this right here to make a mask and take pictures. And so I'm going, these are the only two that I'm going to keep. So, because he wants to keep them, but I have to just make sure that that's not going to give him any problem with contact. Anyway, yes, that happened. So if you are using a cabinet that has small pegs, I know a lot of people with the Ikea dream, greenhouse cabinets, they change out the pegs so that um, the shelves don't fall off. And I would definitely suggest that because the vibration of the fans and the humidifier, they definitely create a little bit of friction. I thought maybe the... the um, the places where you have the pegs would swell up a little bit so it wouldn't be a problem but it didn't swell up because I did seal the inside of the cabinet and so it just it just twisted a little bit and everything just slid right off and so 
that's what happens. Do I still love my plant cabinet? Oh yes, I am obsessed with that plant cabinet. <laughs> I am obsessed with that plant cabinet. So I will definitely fix it, but I just wanted to share this with you so that you know sealing the cabinet is important, but then at the same time, you have to secure the shelves a little differently. A lot of people change out the shelving altogether. They don't use the glass shelving. And eventually, I think I may end up put wire, putting wire shelving in that in that cabinet, but I don't want it to be white. I want it to be, um, I just want it to, I wish it could be clear, but I'm not ordering a huge, the shelves, the, the unit size for that thing, it would be so expensive for me to buy um, a clear acrylic um, shelf for it. So unless I can drill the holes myself, because they do have them in, Lowe's and Home Depot and I know my husband has a bit that drills through it so maybe I'll look into that but I will definitely keep you updated with that again this is a sad situation but I definitely wanted to share it with you and um so that you know if you are going to transfer that's one thing I wanted to mention about those Ikea uh, cabinets that have been changed into greenhouses it is such a nice community when you go on to like the uh Instagram and onto Facebook where there are so many groups where they share the things that have happened with their greenhouses to make it better, the things that made it worse. It's so nice because everyone doesn't have to make the same mistakes and that's why I wanted to share this. If you change a cabinet into a, a wooden cabinet into a, um, a greenhouse, it's doable. It's a wonderful thing. Just be sure that you shore up the, the pegs that the shelves are being held on, make them a, just something that's a little bit bigger. And I did shore them up because I put a little rubber gasket on the pegs, but it was just not enough. And so now you know, just like I know, you gotta take extra, extra precaution. And I really, really just wanted you guys to know that because I don't think it's a bad thing. I simply think that it's just something to work through. So thank you for watching this video, guys. And I hope this information is helpful to you. And now I get to put this behind me. <laughs> Have a great night, guys. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.